to the association with Leha, a lot of the music, and the, particularly the Tauber lead, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, very, the one special the song, Tauber was written Tauber for lead. him, where he would say to, uh, to Leha, I don't like the position of these three notes, can we change it? I want the melody moved here, I want this taken down. In other words, it was really, the, the, the melody yeah. mm. was constructed to suit his vocal uh, apparatus and the way he sang, so it really was a collaboration. He was kicked out of the opera house because they thought he was bastardizing his voice. And because for a fine opera singer to then start singing operetta, it's bastardizing. <laughs> Life is just an empty dream. I shall never be alone. I shall call the world to my own. They were like bread and butter. <laughs> it just, you know, it clicked. And Leha got very angry when later on Tauber did his own musical comedy called Old Chelsea, because Leha then felt that he was moving away from him. gentlemen, nobody has ever conducted a Strauss waltz like Tauber doing Tales from Vienna Woods. Uh, the orchestra learned how to play and aspiring conductors should have learned how to conduct. You know, the, the tr conductor's triangles were not equilateral triangles. There were accents which one never dreamed of. And I shall never forget tales from Vienna Woods, the freedom, the, the extraordinary musicality of Tauber's conducting a Strauss waltz. I did about two to three months uh, under his baton. I found him very, very charming. He was a brilliant conductor. Of course, being a singer, you can imagine how much help he gave to a singer, and it was it was awe inspiring to to sing with someone so great. He didn't have to illustrate by singing. He could do it, but with his wrist technique and his arm technique, 
he was already, as you know, paralyzed down one side, so that his movements were restricted, he was very vain, he would make sure his approach onto the platform and off the platform was properly concealed. He was a total professional. Vielleicht müsste man dieses Lied in Musik für Millionen spielen, um mal zu zeigen, dass Volksmusik nicht nur tümlich sein muss. Es gibt den schönen Satz von Brecht, das Volk ist nicht tümlich. Und das war nicht tümlich gesungen, das war mit größter Kunstfertigkeit gesungen. Und die Kunstfertigkeit stellt was her? Die größte Schlichtheit. Und das ist auch wieder eine Definition von Singen, dass ich die größte Schwierigkeit, zum Beispiel die kleine Schleife bei Fuhrs, dass ich die so bilde, dass ein Idiom im Klang deutlich gemacht wird und gleichzeitig eine virtuose Gesangsgäste ausgeführt wird, ohne dass ich merke, wie gekonnt das ist. Ich merke das Können nicht. Das Können verbirgt eigentlich, und die Kunst verbirgt eigentlich das Können. Und was entsteht, ist ein ganz einfaches Gebilde, weil alle große Kunst auch das Moment von Einfachheit, von Schlichtheit, Direktheit und von Unverstelltheit hat. Und wenn ein Sänger das kann, es, ich kenne keinen anderen, der das in dem Maße kann wie, wie Richard Tauber. 